you guess where we are? This is a bucket list item for me. We're in Yellowstone National Park. I have this huge thing about American National Parks that's woven into everything I love about this country. And this is the first ever and probably like one of the most well-known, you think? The largest. The largest, oh definitely. They yep. say like the state of Delaware and Rhode Island could fit inside. That's wild. Yellowstone. That's, That's really crazy. Big. It's nestled in the beautiful hills of well, I was going to say we're in Montana right now, but it spreads into Wyoming. It's like all over the place. Right on the border. Yeah. And there you go. For the benefit and enjoyment of the people. And they call this the Roosevelt Arch because national parks in general were all started by Teddy Roosevelt, right? Yes, Theodore, Teddy, by John Muir. Yeah, that's Should right. In his shirt. Yeah, we've been to his birthplace in the town of Dunbar in Scotland. Yep. And now we're here. This feels like a nice bookend. Wow. We can actually see this from our hotel, which is way over there in the distance. I get a pretty good view with my zoom lens. Oh, well, you can see all the way to the top. Oh, well, that's gonna scare me. Oh my word. <laughs> it's like bats. Ah, I don't like being inside of big things. <laughs> that's the last time Congress ever did anything for us, am I right? Am I right? This is the doorway to adventure. Let's walk through. Part of the reason we're doing this trip is because we bought an annual pass to all the national parks, so you're going to get to see a lot of them in upcoming videos. Hi. Good, thanks. Oh, great, thank you. Everything we see here is just gonna be like alien planet. Yeah, I think that's why I like national parks so much is because I've been to a lot of national parks that genuinely do feel uh, like you're traveling to another planet. Uh, you'll see some of them on this road trip, but it's kind of exciting to live your sci-fi dreams <laughs> in real life. To stay, yeah. You can literally walk up to the hot springs. springs. Okay, that was beautiful shots. A Liberty Cap, a hot spring cone. Ah, look at this place. Wow, this is very alien. Uh oh. Don't be, don't be like him. Don't be like this kid. No. <gasps> Crazy. Can't help but wonder what the water tastes like. Do you think we could taste it or would we die? It smells kind of sulfury. Yeah. So probably not great. Probably not. Doesn't get much more alien than this. It's Star Wars. Yeah. The like shimmering of the water down the hill. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. That's amazing. Make another big one. That's like the moon. 
and here you can see what was at the top of that falls this little pond like a steaming hot spring I guess more than a pond there is a lot more to see at even just mammoth hot springs but I think we're going to push on to the next port of call uh, we've got a lot to fit in and only one day to do it so let's see what else Yellowstone has to offer beautiful mammoth hot springs looks like a there's snow-capped mountain or like salt. Yeah. Or something. Some kind of minerally deposit. Yeah. Surprised came out me. Of nowhere. All right. Do you want to get this out of the way? Yes. <laughs> Wait. What? What is Old Faithful? Old Faithful is a geezer, isn't it? It's a geezer. A geezer. An old geezer. He calls them geezers. I call them geysers. Tomato. Tomato. <laughs> Let's call the whole thing off. To be fair. She's probably right, but I still, it's like a mental hoop for me every time I have to think. Geezer, geyser? Just say geezer. I think it's like, it's cute. It's a cute British uh, thing. Thanks, that's me all over. Like, just like uh, having to say bison instead of buffalo. Well, it's a little different, babe. Well, there are no <laughs> buffalo in Yellowstone, though, right? No, nope, only bison. Oh, so there you go. You don't want to be one of those people that goes to San Francisco and calls it a cable car. Oh, or I do it, that. No, it's a trolley. It is a cable car. Ah, <laughs> you're so confused about everything. <laughs> Again, the scenery changes. It's so pretty. Ah, I like want to cry. It's so oh. pretty. And just cry, man. <laughs> wow. Beautiful waterfall. Look, it's like the start of every Jerry Bruckheimer movie. That. It's on fire. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now this is the perfect Turner holiday vacation. Just drive from car park to car park, looking straight at things. Barely have to get Barely out of the car. Barely have to get out of the car. This is awesome. This is some geothermal paradise. So, for those who aren't fully aware, <laughs> like I wasn't, mm -hmm. uh, Yellowstone sits on a volcano. Yeah, an it's, active volcano. It's flat, well, sort of, but it's not like a peak, like a normal mountain. And that's what creates all these hot springs, geysers. Look. What was it? I don't know, a gopher Something's or burrowing. Ah. It's prairie dog. He's prairie dogging. He's prairie dogging. Dad, I'm prairie dogging it. What the hell does that mean? Maybe so if we're quiet, he'll come out. Okay, shh. There he is. He sees us. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's cute. Now I know where that phrase comes from. You know, like when a prairie dog sticks his head in and out of the ground. Ow! So you can see like the main uh, fissure. No, what do they call these when there's a name for it? Like a caldera? Uh, no, that's something else. That's an underwater one, I think. But anyway, you can see the main place where all the steam's coming out, but then there's also all these little mini steam holes. Oh, look, and even further up the mountain, 
Yeah, this thing is gonna blow one day and probably take out half of the Western mm. Hemisphere. So I was struggling to remember the names of these things. Caldera, like vent or whatever. Fumaroles is the name, but I was close because the name for this roaring mountain, the Latin is Sulfolibus acidocaldarius, which means sulfur eating, round, adapted to living in an acidic place. Basically, caldera, cauldron, a hot place. Barrel spray. Pulled over at a place called Barrel Spring. Check out this geothermal activity. It's really going for it. it smells like fireworks. And sulfur. And sulfur. Wow, look how blue it is. Really does make me wonder going through Yellowstone what the first peoples in America thought of places like this, like, I'm pretty sure they probably thought it was magic, and I can totally understand why. Just like, random places with steam mysteriously coming out of the ground, and then things like this, it's incredible. So this is going to be the first waterfall of the trip. Given Falls. Let's see what it's like. Whoa, beautiful. That's spectacular. Mountain paint pots. You can kind of see why they call it that. We found the engine that's powering the earth. It's like a nest brick factory. stopped in a beautifully shady little grove to have a picnic, make up some sandwiches. Just got to be sure not to attract any, oh, any bears. No drones allowed in Yellowstone, but we have the next best thing.
We've come to Grand Prismatic Spring, which is one of the more photogenic and popular places in all of Yellowstone. And when we get to the top here, you'll see why. They say that the color of the water indicates the temperature. Apparently, up here behind us is the big one. Imagine being one of the first people in this country and stumbling on this place. You just think it was like heaven. Something. Something. Whew. I feel the steam coming off of this spring. There must be some heat in there stored in. I hope you can see how beautiful it is from ground level. There is a trail that you can hike all the way up there to go see it from above, which must look spectacular, but I don't think we're going to have time today. We've spotted a lot of what might be bison droppings around today, but we've yet to see any of the bison. I guess we'll just have to keep looking. Now for the part of Yellowstone that everybody knows. We're coming to see Old Faithful Geyser. We could probably check in the uh, Visitor center to see what time it's going to go off. No, so they might have a sign close by. It doesn't look that busy there, which makes me think maybe it's going to be a little while. But we'll see. If you're worried about finding gas and food in uh, Yellowstone as well, there's a gas station and a ton of really nice little gift shops and things down by Old Faithful. Something so exciting about these old style National Parks log cabin type buildings. I just love that design. This is fun. Ah, what a view. I want to just like dive. You go, I think. Don't jostle me. You're right. I think. We are waiting for oh, Old Faithful. He's a faithful geezer. How do you know it's a he? Because he's a geezer, isn't it? All right, it's nearly time now. Old Faithful, don't be unfaithful tonight. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. 
of the way, isn't it? Come on. That's spectacular. <laughs> well, was that worth waiting in the hot sun for? I think so, definitely. It definitely has its uh, something special about it, doesn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, people had told me don't expect it to be huge, so yeah. I lowered my expectations, but yeah. then it was higher than my expectations. Yeah, so. oh, that's good. How would Justin go again? We found bison! Wow. That's cool. So cool. Oh, we're gonna be so close! <sighs> Look at that! Whoa. Uh, <laughs> He's derp. Hey buddy. He's a derpy bison. Oh, they're so cute. Bye son. Bye bison. Most people when they take their sunglasses off put them on their forehead. Melissa has a better idea. <laughs> Mask wearing has made her a different woman. It works. Just catching the last of the golden hour light here, but we're gonna try and find some good views. Just say, you don't want to trip over this rock here. <laughs> oh my word. Wow. Yellowstone has a grand canyon. It's... Wow. Oh yeah. It all right there. That is amazing. Wow. Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Like, I'm a little scared of heights. This is kind of freaky. This is a long way down. It would probably be like 20 stories up if this was a building. Yeah, easily. There's some rapids down there. I wonder if you can kayak through it. Huh? <coughs> yeah. You never get a sense of scale on these things, but. If I zoom in, you can see people on the other side of the canyon. Melissa's found an amazing view of the waterfall. We just can't get enough of this view of the Canyon of Yellowstone, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. It's so cool how that river actually... Yeah. It looks amazing in this light. We're kind of a little bit late on the sunlight, but it still looks incredible. Whoa, still venting after all.
these years. Apparently. That is one big boulder. That's a nice boulder. That's a nice boulder you got there. <laughs> be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs> what? I'm quoting Shrek. Oh, I don't know what that is. No. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see where things are. Ready to be inspired. Hats off to the National Park Service. This is a pretty cool way to experience some of the incredible beauty of Yellowstone. That's right, you can even see all the way out to the waterfall, just. pulled over in Yellowstone it usually only means one thing I can't see a bull no they usually are he sees us uh, come look. Bye, guys. Enjoy your dinner. back to our hotel room and it only seemed fitting after an amazing day and meeting these guys for the first time that we try some bison burgers for dinner. <laughs> uh -oh. It's kind of sad when you think about it. It is a little bit but also look at the size of that thing. Thanks so much for watching this amazing day with us. I hope we'll be back again because this place is magical. Okay, bye. It's